This example is uh, meant to show having vendor quotes on hand. So this is pre-populated with uh, multiple materials. I can scroll further to the left and you can see materials not requested yet. So I have curved dowel, the special tube, quarter inch washer, side bars, and so forth. The fact that I see this is one through four, I know it's not labor. What I want to do is focus on the values over here. So if you have a vendor quote on hand, you could say, yes, I did retrieve a vendor quote. And what is my vendor quote number? Well, vendor quotes often supply a five, six, ten digit number. What I've done here is focused on labeling them as one, two, three. The one, two, three relates to a, a number which I've prefixed, as you can see here, 01 turning metal, two washer, three, and so forth. So regardless of the actual quote number from the vendor, I've given it a prefix. So now I can say simply look at, if I want to look at the curved dowel, I can filter on uh, show me a curved dowel. Now I'm only looking at the curved dowel row. And if I go across, I yes, I do have a vendor quote, and the vendor quote was 01. And if I've saved it in a separate directory, vendor quote 01. I can open up that and now you can see turning metal vendor quote and here's the value. So this is another way you can use uh, repurpose or use some of these values for what you're looking for or based on uh, how you want to plan out your materials. Again, if I want to see what materials have actually been committed or received. Well, I could go to the purchasing status, deselect everything, and select PCOM or materials received. Now I'm showing all the materials that have been committed or received. If I scroll to the right, I can see that these totals, now I already have a contract fee because I assume this is program. Here's the total, 614. And if I scroll to the left in my little dashboard, there's 614. So I have a total plan of 230 to spend. I've committed 614, and here's the remaining dollars to spend.